Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com, where I do what I think is fun. This time it's going to be fun for both of us in that it's a product review that you helped me buy. Um, my uh, viewers use purchase things off my Amazon store, and in doing so I get Amazon credit, and then when it reaches a certain amount I get to buy more product, and I buy things that I think I want to use, and if it's something I think you might use, I'd like to give a review, because then that keeps the cycle going, and I like that. Um, this is a solid state hard drive, a Samsung 850 EVO. It's, uh, it's 500 gig and it's a SATA interface and it's a 2.5 um, size drive so it goes directly in a laptop. And uh, granted, you know, putting in solid state drives in laptops and, and desktops isn't anything new, but what, what I liked about this, because I purchased one a year ago, once again from your guys' help, buying on my Amazon store, I bought one last year, the labeling's a little bit different, um, but I put it in a, in, a, in a Toshiba and it gave it a huge kick in the pants. I mean, it started running great, which, okay, fine, that's maybe not easy for some people to do, but this one is. It, uh, on, the, on Amazon, it has like over almost 3,000 reviews, all of them five star. Uh, basically, it's like incredible. And I can add one of my stars to that because I had one last year and it's, that laptop is still kicking butt. It's just doing great. And so uh, we'll install this so, so easily, so easily. It comes with a disc, comes with a, um, a DVD. You pop it in, you hook up this drive uh, to your USB port, and it just says, let's copy it. And you say, okay. And it copies your entire hard drive directly over to this new solid state drive as a bootable device. And you switch out the two drives and you just turn your computer on. And it's that simple, you're done everything's moved over and that's what is so interesting to review that we can do that we can do it so quickly now this is 500 gig if you have more than 500 gigs on your on your computer make sure you get a bigger one the link that I'll have to this in the show notes and at toddfun.com uh, will be to where you can select the size you want this is 500 gig because it's uh, the cheapest like 150 160 for this one and uh, uh, I could have gotten bigger, but for a laptop, I just don't need it. I just don't need that much storage on a laptop. On a desktop, you probably want to pick a bigger one. You might do a bit more with a desktop. But even then, you could make this your boot drive, as long as all your stuff fits on it. And you can use the magic, um, the magic copy program that comes with, uh, you know, and then get a, just a, a cheaper drive, a spinning drive, or use your old drive if it's so good, works good as a secondary like D drive. Just just wipe it out and reformat it and, and use it to store all the bulk stuff that you don't need and the things you want high access to pretty much everything else can be on this 500 gigs um, that's a solution but you will need a bracket if you put this in a desktop you'll need a, an adapter bracket some some de some desktops have 3.5 bracket internal but the ones that don't the ones the ones that only support the larger drives you'll have to get a bracket for that so I'll include a show note for that so you don't get stumbled on that because this is so easy to do I'd hate to see you stumble on it you also need to be able to hook up the drive to a USB port to make the copy happen. Now, what I have is, this is an external uh, SATA, um, this was for, it was basically the guts of one of these. This is an external SATA adapter. I'll put a link to the show, in the show notes for this. This is just an empty box that you can stick one of these laptop, three or 2.5 inch laptop drives in, whether, as long as it's SATA, it'll pop in here. And you can use that if you buy one, just uh, buy one empty and, and then you can use that. So that's one way and then plus you got a, a place to put your old drive uh, where you can hook it up and use it as an external mass storage device. Um, but this is just the guts of one of those and you'll need at least this to do the transfer. And so I'll put a link to both of these in the show notes. Well, this is, this is just this. <laughs> so I'll just put a link to that. Um, but there's another one that you can get that just does this. And so if you want to save a bit more money, um, I'll, have a, I'll see if I can put a link into just something that is just for making an adapter. Um, and, and it's nice to have an external, external drive anyway. So if you keep your old drive, just reformat it and stick it in here again. That way you can use this for the transfer. And then you can, uh, you can stick your old drive in here and format it and use it to, you know, I got this one labeled at a one terabyte. It's an old drive. Actually, it's the one off the Toshiba that I was talking about earlier. And I just use it to store stuff on. It comes in super handy because... I put important things on here, pictures and documents and stuff like that. I just drag and drop them on there. And then I put this in my uh, fireproof safe on the weekend. And uh, I pull it out, copy more files over to it, refresh them essentially, and then put it back in the fireproof safe. That way if I have my equipment stolen or there's a fire, I still have a backup of all my most important documents. Um, 
you can do the same with larger things. You can get a larger, like one terabyte external drive too. But those things you have to keep in mind. Um, but let's just go to the bench and show uh, doing the transfer. This is going to be fast because on this laptop that I need to update, it, uh, it, it it's, had a, it's having a horrible throughput problem with the drive. And I totally blew it away and reinstalled Windows, um, reformatted the drive, put Windows 10 back on it, and the underperformance uh, under Windows 10, it showed the hard drive just going super slow. And um, it just didn't want to do it at all. And I do know I checked that the power supply is good on it. That is, the brick is good. It's putting out the proper wattage. So it really just is the drive. And I've had this happen to a laptop last year. So this does happen. And by putting in another drive, it's going to help it. But I'm going to put in a solid state drive. So it's going to get a complete kick in the pants. So let's see how easy that is. And then if you want to try it, buy one on Amazon uh, from my store. And let me know how it works out for you. The bench. So there's the solid state drive, the 850 NVO, 5 gig, SATA. When you open it up, it comes with, uh, this is the instruction guide. This is that disc that has the magic on it. I believe if you don't have a, if you don't have a drive for this on your laptop, some laptops don't have a drive, um, you can download, download this from Samsung. Um, warranty junk, and then the drive itself. They're very, very light because there's just nothing in them but some chips. Um, it's got the power and the SATA connection. Um, and it tells you the size nice and clear. So that's nice. You just got to have you know, the software, the drive, and the adapter. You put it in. You plug it in. You, it'll pop up and say, do the data magic, copy the drive. Then you switch out the drive with the new drive, the Samsung drive. Turn it on, and you're done. Literally that simple. The only difference for a desktop is... Uh, is that you're going to have to put it in a tray adapter usually not all of these desktops have a tray that will fit a three a 2.5 uh, but once you put it in a tray adapter you just slide it in in some way and then hook it up and then everything else is exactly the same we're, we're not we're not talking a slouchy machine at all and a, a core i7 and it does run Windows 10 even though this particular in Spron it's not certified to work with they don't certify it for 10, but everything installed in 10 worked just great. And this problem I had with this one was happening in Windows 7. So it, I knew I had a problem in Windows 7. That's why I blew it away and went with Windows 10. I mean, I, I did a fresh install of Windows 10, an actual purchased version. Let's, uh, let's just show the performance view of it now so we can show it then after we switch out and do the drive. Uh, just so you know what kind of kick in the pants you can get, um, especially if you're having a performance problem with your drive. So this is uh, the performance view in Task Manager. You just right click down here and say Task Manager and then in Windows 10 and then select on Performance. And then you can see that you have CPUs, memories, disks. That's one thing nice about Windows 10. They do show that fairly nicely. If you want a better view, you can actually bring up in Windows 10 um, Resource Monitor. Resource Monitor, you can click on the Disk tab or you could go Overview and you could kind of see an overview of everything. But if you go to disk, um, it, you'll see the, the drive actual, and us say this, it, it's 10 kilobits per second, and then a queue of pretty short queue right now on C, the queued length is uh, 0 point, or 0.01. And uh, we're gonna stress that a little bit here. So I don't know what will open, but things don't go very well with this drive. At least there's times when it doesn't. Let's try maybe money. We'll bring it up. We're gonna. We should see that these are. It, it blocked out completely. So if we went while it's bringing up money, the drive is at 100%, and it's trying to push it like a megabyte per second. It's not even. It's not even breaking seven megabytes per second here. Um, it did bring up money, and I would like to see that be a lot, a lot better. This is a fresh, clean install, so there isn't really much to stress the machine with. Um, but you can see I get quite a spike. CPU isn't being bothered. Memory isn't being bothered. Um, but the drive is not getting throughput, and, and that should be what we see the most improvement for. This uh, queue length um, shouldn't be getting blocked out. It should just be ripping right along. And so that's what we'll compare it against um, once we get it switched over. Okay, so then the drive... The external drive turned on over here. This recognizes it. Now we'll pop in the drive. I'll be right back. I'll pop in the disk and be right back. So 
clone your existing drive with this. This is just for managing the drive, doing a few other things. We don't really care. We just want to clone our system. So this is the beginning of the uh, software. We went through a quick update once we popped in the disk. We popped in the disk, went through a quick update so we get the freshest, newest program. It went to version 3, which you can see up here, which is fine. It downloaded the, the best version that was available. And now we're going to start copying our local drive to our Samsung drive. It's looking at the size to make sure it'll fit. And I only, um, this is a fresh install of Windows 10, so it's just a, a tiny little bit of stuff to move over on from drive C to the new drive, the target drive formats. It's a five gig, 500 gig, but it's formatting out at 465 um, gig. And it's basically saying it's ready. Never disconnect a disk while it's you doing this. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, and so this is it. It's, it's gonna clone my hard drive. And as soon as we're done, we'll switch out with that. Well, it says it's done. The data um, on the source drive has been cloned to your SD card. So it was really a small amount. I mean, I had, what, 30 gigs, so it didn't even take that long. Um, but uh, now I suppose we say close, and it says close is complete. Shut down your system and install your drive. Okay, I'll do a shutdown. Remember to take your disk out before you shut down so that you don't accidentally boot to that or any other device. Um, this is an Inspiron. N5110 uh, Dell. So uh, you have to uh, just Google or look at your user manual on how to replace a hard drive in your particular flavor laptop. Some of them can be complicated, some of them can be easy. Regardless whether you have to or not, make sure you take out the battery um, before you try and replace the hard drive. It's just safe. Make sure it's unplugged as well. There we go. Laptops all put back together. And hi, I can see you in my reflection. So it should boot real fast now. Let's take a look. Inspiron. And four, three, two, one. Bam. <laughs> Only about five, six seconds to get to the boot screen. So yeah. That's, uh, that's a noticeable improvement now. Password from my daughter's computer. Bam! Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to have any performance issues, uh, but we will bring up the same test screens. Oh, well, there's Google. Just fine. So, okay, let's bring up some test screens. Okay, I gave it a minute just to settle down. You know, we... You want to, when, a, when a computer boots, it, it lets you in Windows, and then yet it's still launching a bunch of stuff in the, in the taskbar and stuff. But even though it was still doing that, we were able to open Google and a few things, and it was just real snappy. But I went ahead and I took a minute to put away my tools and, uh, and made sure that it had settled down through all of its um, back, back processes launching. And it is. It's settled down now. So now it would be... A real great time to do the test. We this is the uh, hard drive that we put in the solid state, and there's our CPU. Basically blank on both. But okay, I think the thing was we brought up. Uh, geez, what was the program we brought up? I think we launched MS Money. So yeah, it looks like it's still here. So let's pop that up and see how that affects things. So it's up already, and it seems to be happy and barely even. We're be even burped on that. Um, we already did. Let's do uh, that's that's up already. It's trying to spike it, but it doesn't get anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Chrome, bam. Yeah. Chrome's not even giving it a tweak. Let's look at the r resource manager. Yeah, it's staying real quiet. Okay, I've installed Microsoft Office uh, 2010. I have not opened anything yet, so everything's real quiet. This is going to be a real good test of just how good this thing can pop something up. So recent programs never opened, and Word, how quickly, oh, boom! <laughs> okay, Word is open. Great. Wow, it didn't flinch to open that, did it? Use recommended settings, install new up, updates only. I'm just going to say use recommended settings. Why not? I'm a pretty normal guy. Okay, yeah, you go ahead and do that. Oh, it ran an update. Okay, cool. 
Okay, that was pretty quick. Let's close it and let's see what happened on the charts here. We used almost nothing. Um, we used 5% CPU, 8% active, 18% active right now for the shutdown. We are having no delays whatsoever. Absolutely nothing on that. Let's do that again one more time. Opening Win Microsoft Word. Bam! Wow. Okay, so that's that was normally painful to open before. Very painful. Okay, so I'm going to call that uh, I'm going to call that good as far as uh, let's let's do another painful one. Microsoft Excel. Bam! Wow. It didn't even flinch. That's the first time I've ever opened Microsoft Excel on this install. Okay, so as you can see, it is running. It is running with its pants on fire, man. It is amazing. Well, there you go. In closing, that's how you can quickly upgrade your laptop or desktop to a solid state hard drive for 150, 60 bucks. And that includes the software um, to, uh, to migrate it over. Um, you would have to get one of those little cables. I'll have links to all the materials I used in this. Uh, so if you need to purchase like a drive adapter or the cable, uh, the USB to SATA drive uh, uh, adapter, you'll have that. You can get that too. You only need to get once though. Uh, and then you can use it, you know, like for external drive activity. Just read right to like you would a real giant thumb drive for your old drive. So there you go. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, go use the link in the show notes for the Amazon store to get one or whatever size you'd like to get. Uh, leave a note how yours worked. Uh, only word of warning is I've done a lot of laptop replacements in my life, uh, laptop hard drive replacements, and I normally don't even review it. They're just to me they're just self-explanatory. This one on a scale of one to ten, it's a ten. So if you got this laptop or anything that you have, in case you're not as skilled at this, is go on YouTube and and just type in your exact lap type model. Um, and see if there's a YouTube video on how to take apart and replace the hard drive. A lot of people do that. I don't want to do that because it's not the type of video I usually make, and you can find that already online. This is just a video to tell you how quickly you can easily migrate all of your stuff from one drive that's slow, spinning hard disk to a solid state drive. That's what this video is. Uh, so make sure you, before you tackle this or even buy anything, you know exactly how to take apart your product. Um, so that you don't have to tackle that. Uh, this one would have challenged um, anybody. I've never seen one this hard, but thanks, Dell. I appreciate that. <laughs> I have Toshiba, I have a, a, a Toshiba the same age as this one, and it was it was a it was a cakewalk. It was just a panel on the back, and you're done. <laughs> it takes ten seconds. So okay, thanks for joining. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of computer repair or re videos and stuff. It's just that this is something that really comes up a lot. I do it a lot, and uh, I want you to be able to do it too. Thanks for joining.